All right, so today feels like an adventuring day. Yeah, this is more like it. Don't mind all that noise. I'm under a freeway, so there's gonna be a lot of cars coming by. Uh, there's a lot of wind. Hopefully this mic can pick up my voice better than the wind. <laughs> So I wanted to discuss more on why I decided to be self-taught and what do I mean by self-taught? What I mean is information I can acquire outside of school, so like online, YouTube, reading articles, ordering books, or going to a library, going to Barnes & Noble, finding some informative books out there. I've been self-taught for quite a while, I would say about three years. I dropped out of college because I just felt like I wasn't motivated to learn. I was just kind of there just to make myself feel like I was doing something with my life. And then when I realized that I wasn't doing anything with my life and I was heading nowhere, that's when I had my panics and I was like, okay, I need to do something. I need to take action. And so I just took matters in my own hand and decided to drop out and do my own thing. So it didn't always start that easy, you know. I always felt like school was the only way they tell you that a lot. In society, I grew up in elementary school thinking I had no potential, thinking I was going nowhere in life because my grades weren't, you know, the best and I wasn't really that fast in school. I was always that slow kid that finished last and I didn't really participate in a lot of things to be honest. And I just thought that was me being a self failure. I was self sabotaging myself, but I didn't know any better either. I didn't know I could make my own choices and there's other ways of learning out there. I kind of just thought I was that one kid that didn't fit in. In middle school, I actually ended up going to independent studies and that actually was a turning point for me in a way because independent studies showed me that I could learn in different ways, that I could learn by studying on my own and not really relying on a teacher to teach me anything. And that was a great moment for me because I learned how to find answers on my own. I learned how to find my own resources and not only listen to one professor's perspective on things and thinking that they're right about everything they're saying. And I ended up graduating high school from independent studies, so that followed me all through high school. I left with that, having that self-worth of knowing that I could do it by myself. So when I went to college, you know, I went back to going to a classroom and having a teacher or professor. And I hated it. I'm not gonna lie, I hated going to school. I I just didn't feel any passion towards it. I felt like it was just a chore that I needed to do. <sighs> I remember waking up and being angry because I had to go to school and listen to this professor that I didn't find interesting at all. So I got to a point where I was like, you know what, I, I'm gonna take a break and I'm actually just take school in a less serious way and maybe just take electives. So one of my things that I wanted to learn was piano and I decided to take a piano class in college. And that was the moment when I realized school is not for me. <laughs> it got to the point where I just got rid of my keyboard because I lost all passion for learning music because of the way the school system was, right? I was learning for a grade. I wasn't learning for myself anymore. It was more of this idea of I had to fit in and be good enough. <laughs> and I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. So I dropped out. I was like, you know what? I can't do this at all. I'm just gonna learn what I wanna learn, my own way, my own time, and my own resources. But me dropping out resulted in me realizing that I wanted to learn things. I actually really loved learning things. And I did that by reading books. I read a lot of books. And I started studying psychology because I like psychology. I love learning about the mind. I love learning about why people are the way they are. I started learning philosophy because I love philosophy. I've always had that mindset of questioning everything, you know, looking outside the box. Is that real? Are these people real? Are they robots? Am I a robot? 
So philosophy really fit in with me and who I was. Uh, and then I got into spirituality. And spirituality was a big surprise because I didn't know I was spiritual until I read a spiritual book. And then I got really intrigued and I just dove into the subject really hard. So I was able to find passions outside of school. And I was able to learn a lot outside of school. And that changed my reality in thinking that I needed to go to school to make something out of myself. That was the biggest lie I've ever felt was revealed, was that I needed to go to school to be someone, to do something, to feel like I was going somewhere in life. I've been studying on my own, I've been practicing, I've been applying things to my life, and I feel like those were the best ways of learning. I have trains coming! Yeah, so leaving school was one of the best things I feel like I did for myself. Just so I could have that self-discovery of what I like to do and how I wanted to learn things, right? I'm sure there's a million more out there and you just gotta find it. There's many ways to do that. Hi, I love trains. That was awesome. Glad I got to capture that. Hopefully the audio was good enough in this vlog because there's a lot of noise going on here. But I'm really glad I got to spend some time out here in one of my secret spots. One out of many. Yes, I have many secret spots. I am quite the explorer. Alright, that's enough ranting about myself. Time to enjoy this place and see where I end up.